What is up guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is late, late, late tonight. Starting this vlog off super late because um, I've just been working so much on the car. I've been fully dismantling the car and I actually started wrapping it so I got like I would say about 20% of the car done. So if you guys remember when I had my NB Miata I got off of Copart, I actually wrapped that in a certain color and I wrapped the Z in the same color. Just because I had so much extra wrap I didn't want it to you know, go to waste. And I completely love the finish of this color. Um, I actually bought this color for the Crash Red Z, ended up selling that and I had the extra wrap over and that's why I actually wrapped the NB Miata in this color. Here is the new color of the 370Z. It is a gloss metallic red uh, 1080 series by 3M. You can't really see the metallic in the garage right now, but it is pretty metallic-y. Um, I like it. If you guys remember, I did the side mirrors in the Space Galaxy Black. Uh, I actually didn't like the way I did it because I didn't have the right blade at first. Uh, if you guys remember, I did it with the razor blades, but I got the new blades in the mail. So I redid the mirrors and they turned out fire. No silver showing at all. I've learned a lot from the guy CK Raps on YouTube. He's probably the best car wrapper in the world. Uh, he teaches you everything about it. If you guys ever have to wrap your car by yourself, go to his channel. Link's down in the description. He's awesome. I actually messaged him on Instagram a bunch of little questions that I had that I couldn't find in his videos. And he actually responded to me and answered every single question that I asked. So, so the first panel I ended up doing was this fender. Um, it seems like it has a big recess, so I really wanted to practice on that. Um, I was okay with with messing up anything on the first round. I was still buying more so I decided to do a challenging piece first so that's why I did the fender and uh, I just didn't have isoprobolic alcohol so I got some debris underneath. There's a little debris spot in there is right there. Um, not much anywhere else but I really learned from that mistake. Um, I went to Walgreens and I bought some dollar isoprolic alcohol or whatever it's called isopropyl alcohol and uh, I got the door completely A1. All the corners are completely tucked in there very good. Um, last time I wrapped a car, which was the Miata, I didn't watch any of CK's videos. And yeah, with his tips, this car is looking seriously flame. So, so far I got the fender done, the door done, these two pieces up here, and these two pieces right here. I got the car fully dismantled. Um, the, obviously the other door is done, but this door has the door handle out of it and the door card. I still have to get this tiny little rubber trim off, but uh, the tail lights are out, all the plastics from the trunk are out and I'm in the middle of getting this uh, spoiler out. What I'm doing right now is actually shaving the emblems. That is a huge clump of Bondo. Uh, I know a lot of people wouldn't do it this way, but I'm learning and I'm just trying to do it the way I thought would work in my head and we'll see how it turns out. So I am actually going to let the Bondo harden and go to sleep. So I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. <sighs> bright and early. It is a beautiful day, not a cloud of the sky. Oh, it's a little bit chilly though. All right, we're gonna go pick up the vinyl at Feller's. Right there. We got the wrap. It's right there. We gotta get home now. Perfect red. That guy was so mad. <laughs> Did the hatch. Come around here. Pretty, pretty mint. So, I'll show you guys some imperfections. Like right here, um, I couldn't get this uh, top door trim off so there's a tiny little sliver right there you can barely see that hood is pretty much perfect come still have to put in the little Z emblem on this side this door came out perfect these um whatever these are a B pillars came out amazing so as you can see if you really look in there you can see some silver and if you push it down you can see more silver um, but it's not really that noticeable what I can do is open the gas cap put a tiny little layer right there and that'll do a lot I just need to work on getting super inside and this color which is silver uh, the color underneath of this is actually really really hard to wrap because you have to really get into all the edges if you don't want uh, any of the color to be seen so out of this whole car I guess the hardest part was the hatch um, it was just just really hard to get the spoiler off uh, to do the spoiler and um, just get everything so here is the biggest con on the wrap there is a little stretch right here and a tear I didn't want to redo the hatch because obviously it's a huge piece of vinyl so eventually I'm going to redo the hatch but for now I think it's good enough uh, right here turned out because I was stretching both sides and then I ended up with a bunch of excess film right here um, what I should have done is not go side to side and done it all grab at once but also the spoiler I thought underneath here uh, which is the 3m double-sided tape uh, would be covered completely by the spoiler but you can see it uh, from when you're looking underneath it from up here you can't see anything and 
for the most part, I think it's turned out pretty A1. Doing a lot of body work to this. Uh, as you can see, Magnus has um, been sanding this down the whole time. He actually did it pretty good. Probably have to do a little bit more Bondo in these little air pockets. Sand it down a couple more times, and then sand it down with 800, then 2000, or whatever. I have to still, you know, I'm not a body work guy, so I'm still learning. I love learning this whole process. Uh, right now, I actually have to go to work, but when I get back, we are going to do a late night vlog, and I'm going to finish sanding the front bumper and try to start doing the rear bumper. I have to actually pick up some more wrap, but I actually found out that Feller's, um, a huge distributor for uh, 3M and Vivid and Avery, actually uh, is in Portland, which is like 15 minutes from my house. So instead of waiting for vinyl and having to wait for shipping and all that stuff, um, I actually can just go there and pick it up same day. So I'm gonna head to work and I will be back soon. Oh, just like that, we're done with work. We're back in the garage and we're wrapping. I think it's about 2 a.m. right now, so um, yeah, I had to drive my car to work and it was raining today, so I've been spending this whole time cleaning it up. Uh, I just did the side skirt. Turned out really, really good. Proud of myself. There's a huge recess on that side uh, right there. If you're wondering what recess means, it's a huge, like, indent so you have to stretch the vinyl um, but it's bad to bridge the gap so you want to go into the recess been doing tiny little body work uh, in between wrapping the side skirts and uh, just sanded this down put another layer of bondo also if you guys remember this whole side was cracked and uh, I did one layer of plastic weld uh, whoever told me to do that thank you for that and then that fixed up all the cracks but right now um, I laid on some Bondo just so I could get it nice and smooth. One more apology for me not recording anything uh, that I'm doing rap wise. It's just, it's it's honestly hard and I'm just focusing so much just trying to get the perfect cut and everything. Thumbs up if you guys think it's cool, um, even though it's not even nice yet, but thumbs up right now. So even though it's 2 a.m., I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna do this side skirt. And uh, yeah, this is the one thing I'm gonna bring you along with me. The side skirt is done. It looks pretty good. I'm really, really tired. It's probably about 3.30 right now. But um, yeah, I slipped a blade right there. Uh, it shows a little bit, tiny bit on the top, but after it's bolted all in, you're not gonna be able to see nothing. So we are going to resume this video tomorrow. Oh, all right, we're back again. We just got back from Feller's and I got the wrap. So here is the space black. This is what I am doing uh, the roof in, just like I did the mirrors. But my camera's about to die and there's no way I can get a tripod to get that high up. So I'm gonna change the roof color. Like, all right. So we have the space black on the roof. This thing is looking A1. I love the way this looks. Uh, some people said it was gonna be weird, but I think it complements it very much. See, the red with the tinted windows, also with the galaxy on the sides right here. Whew, I can't get over it. Saucy, the glitter sauce, my guy. All right, so I'm sure you guys don't wanna see sanding, so I'm not gonna record it, but I just gotta do one more pass of sanding on this front bumper, a little bit on the rear bumper, and I think I think, I think, I think we're ready to wrap it, which is gonna be the hardest part of the car because it's the most recesses. Um, first off, I have to clean up all the Bondo, sweep it up, and then I have to do a inlay on the bottom part of the bumper. As you can see, I can't do a stretch right there because that is too far of a recess. It will fail. So, gonna have to do a, a inlay on that part and then, yeah, do the rest of the bumper. still have to wrap the diffuser and do my little banner thing but I'll do a quick little walk around right now completely finished the rear bumper turned out great 
the delete. Awesome. The front emblem is deleted. It looks really, really good. So tomorrow um, I'm going to do a space black banner. I was going to do red, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the space black since it like goes from the windshield to the hatch. This little Z emblem broke when I was trying to take it out. Uh, I was trying to just pry it out, but I found out that there's an easier way to put it out. So now this little Z thing uh, falls out under pressure. Um, it's not gonna fall out right now, of course, but it will fall out. So I'm gonna have to get some glue on there before I put that one back on. But I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, so proud of how this turned out. Uh, I love looking at it. Me and Magnus went to Popeyes earlier and I was just staring at it through the window. It just looks like a completely different car, especially with the black roof and uh, the shaved emblems. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be a nice, nice reveal. Uh, right now the car is covered in fingerprints and it's obviously in my garage. So you can't really see how majestic this car really is. So subscribe if you guys are stoked on the 370 build. This thing is going to be crazy. All I have in my head is ideas of what I want to do with this. Peace out guys and take care.